So the idea here is that this is what I've been calling a kind of virtual reality sound sculpture. So in the beginning, there's going to be um, some narration that kind of explains how everything is working and ideas behind it. Um, so if you want to get that kind of like comfortable on your head, Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I'm going to load you into a kind of neutral environment. You can do a lot of This is a lot of this. Since this is sound, you with the headphones. So make sure that you're comfortable. Okay. And there are going to be two controllers for you as well. There's one on your right, if you put the right hand out. And then one on your left. Okay. So this is going to be a narrative experience. And to start it, uh, there will be reference to the A button. Um, so that's be this. Yeah, that's this button. So you should Hello. hear me talk. Welcome. Is the volume okay? This is a virtual reality sound screen. Make sure your headphones are on and the volume is at a comfortable level. We'll be using the microphone to record some sound that'll be used in the piece. So let's try that now. The right trigger button is the record button. Hold it down, say your name, and then release it. Ben. You should be hearing your name on a loop. If you wish, you can re-record it any time by holding the record button again and saying your name. There it is. When you're satisfied with the recording, press the A button. Thank you. I've recorded this piece of audio, and now I can place that recording inside of a shape. Like this box, for instance. The sound that's coming out of it is spatialized. It changes how you hear it depending on where you're located. Try turning your head around to hear your voice from different perspectives. We can also play with the audio a bit. Uh, here we're taking the same audio and splitting it into a couple parts. The first half and the last half. Each half is assigned to a cube, so the first half of your name will come from one box, while the second half will come from the other one. And we can continue on with more slices of audio, uh, each assigned to their own shape in space. And the more shapes we add, the smaller the slices of audio become. Until we're slicing so small, we can't even recognize your voice anymore. I had originally thought of using this as a way of making uh, wild and crazy noises. Uh, I like stuff like that. Throwing our shapes around into wild structures and blasting the sound into a million pieces. But something interesting does happen when you arrange the pieces in order, from the first slice to the last one, and then move them. Going back and forth, uh, the sounds are still the small slices you've heard before, somewhere between... <laughs> like gibberish and noise, but when they move past you in sequence, the original recording starts to uh, reemerge. If we took away all but one of the pieces, we would remember the little slices again. A reminder that sound is composed of small, infinitesimal moments that usually fly past us unnoticed. Uh, depending on the specific recording you did, it might be hard to hear anything coming out of this at all. So I thought of these shapes uh, with the little sounds inside of them as kind of a monument to these small moments. But when I came up with the idea to do that, I wasn't sure what moment to memorialize. So I thought I'd make a monument to you. You've been kind enough to put on this VR headset to give my work some of your attention, um, and you shared your name with me. Without you, the work would be silent. So I want to thank you for being my collaborator on this piece.
However, I can't hear the piece. Only you are wearing the headphones. And when you exit the program, the audio recording will be totally cleared. So this monument is made specifically for you, for right now, and is totally one of a kind. This moment, though, will pass. So thank you for spending it here. <laughs>